Hi friends, welcome back to Curious Wit. I am Dr. Mausina. In today's video, we will see a mycotic condition in small animals that is histoplasmosis. In the upcoming videos also, we will see other mycotic conditions like cryptococcus, uh, coccidiomycosis, blastomycosis, etc. So today's video, we will discuss about histoplasmosis in small animals. Histoplasmosis is a chronic non-contagious disseminated granulomatous disease of people and other animals caused by dimorphic fungus histoplasma capsulatum. It is commonly found in soil that contain bird and bat manure, produces mycelial growth in the soil and in culture at room temperature and grows in yeast form in tissues and in cultures at 37 degrees Celsius. Histoplasmosis is found worldwide and endemic areas in the US include Mississippi and Ohio River valleys. Infection has been described in many animal species but disease is uncommon to rare in all but dogs and cats. Infection is commonly via aerosol transmission of the respiratory tract. Lungs and thoracic lymph nodes are the sites of primary infection and GI tract may be a primary site of infection, especially in dogs. The organisms enter the bloodstream from a primary focus and become disseminated throughout the body. They may localize in bone marrow or the eyes where they produce chorioretinitis and endophthalmitis. Coming to the clinical findings, the signs vary and are non-specific reflecting the various organs involved. Chronic GI signs, especially large intestinal diarrhea, are usually most obvious in dogs but cats tend to have respiratory and non-specific clinical signs. Many dogs may have a protracted course of weight loss to emaciation, chronic cough, persistent diarrhea, fever, anemia, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, nasopharyngeal and GI ulceration. In this picture you can see histoplasma capsulatum. So this is a dog with severe weight loss or emaciation caused by malabsorption from histoplasma enteritis affecting the GI tract. So usually this disease affects the respiratory system and thoracic lymph node but in dogs GI tracts are sometimes the primary location of affection. Obstructive respiratory difficulty due to tracheobronchial lymphadenopathy also has been seen in dogs. Dissemination may involve the skin in which weeping ulcerated nodular lesions develop. In dogs, polyarthropathy, chorioretinitis, retinal detachment have also been reported with uh, disseminated histoplasmosis. Acute histoplasmosis may be fatal after 2 to 5 weeks. In cats, Disseminated infection is common and clinical signs may be non-specific but often include respiratory difficulty, fever, depression, anorexia, weight loss. So this is the lateral radiography showing generalized peripronchial nodular pattern of lung in a cat.
ലിംഫാഡിനോപ്പതി ഹെപ്പറ്റമേഗാലി ഓക്കുല ഡിസീസസ് ലൈക്ക് കൺജങ്ക്റ്റിവൈറ്റിസ് ഗ്രാൻഡ്ലോമാറ്റസ് കോറിയോറൈറ്റിനൈറ്റിസ് റെറ്റിനൽ ഡിറ്റാച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്റ്റിക് ന്യൂറൈറ്റിസ് ആൻഡ് ലെയിംനെസ് ക്യൂട്ടേനിയസ് നോഡ്യൂൾസ് ഓർ അൾസേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ ബി സീൻ ഇൻ ക്യാറ്റ്സ് This is a picture of cutaneous nodule which later may, uh, became ulcer in a cat and this picture also shows a ruptured cutaneous nodule on the left side and uh, granulomatous chorioretinitis which was uh, which may be happened due to histoplasmosis infection in a cat and the lesions gross lesions include enlargement of liver spleen mesenteric lymph nodes ascites uh, yellow white variable size nodules in the lungs and enlargement of bronchial lymph nodes the picture on the top is a lateral radiograph of a dog infected with histoplasma with tracheobronchial lymph lymphadenomegaly and linear nodular diffuse interstitial infiltrates and the picture below is the lungs from a 2 year old domestic short haired cat that died from widespread fulminating granulomatous pneumonia caused by histoplasma capsulitis the enlarged liver may have multiple scattered irregular shaped pale yellow foci of granulomatous inflammation pale foci may be present in the myocardium small intestine may have thickened gray walls and ulceration of the mucosa so this is the ultrasonographic appearance of hepatomegaly in a dog with visceral histoplasmosis here you can clearly see the liver and right kidney in this image and there is hepatomegaly caused by visceral histoplasmosis and this is a lateral radiograph of the distal radius and ulna of a 5 year old cat showing diffuse osteolysis and new reactive bone formation represented by arrow characteristic of osseous histoplasmosis so the histoplasmosis can affect bones also uh, causing diffuse osteolysis and reactive new bone formation now coming to the diagnosis of histoplasmosis histoplasmosis should be considered when the clinical signs include weight loss chronic diarrhea respiratory distress enlarged bronchial lymph nodes and pulmonary nodules histoplasma organisms are usually numerous in affected tissues and definite Uh, definitive diagnosis can often be made by fine needle aspiration and exfoliative cytology cytology of the bone marrow may be diagnostic in cats tissue biopsy may be required if cytology is not diagnostic and histoplasma organisms are difficult to detect with routine at chandy stain and stain well with pa that is periodic and shift base gomori methanamine silver and gridley fungal stains so this is the picture of histoplasma capsulitum in a lymph node smear stained by right stain in hand uh, high it shown in high power note the large number of tiny encapsulated histoplasma organisms inside the macrophage yeast forms in macrophages and jain cells are round to oval 1 to 4 micrometer structures with a thin cell wall and a thin clear zone between the cell wall and cellular cytoplasm so here you can see the yeast form inside the macrophages clearly they have a thin cell wall and a thin clear zone of 
clear uh, zone of cytoplasm then histoplasma capsulatum can also be cultured from tissue specimens fine needle aspirates and body fluids antigen testing using a quantitative antigen elisa can be performed on urine serum and csf cross reactivity usually occurs with blastomycosis so this picture shows thoracic histoplasmosis the left one is the ventrodorsal view of the radiograph in a dog and the right one shows the lateral view now coming to the treatment Itraconazole 10 mg per kilogram per day is the treatment of choice for disseminated histoplasmosis in dogs and cats. Fluconazole is probably also effective. Ketoconazole may be effective in early or mild case of histoplasmosis in dogs. For severe cases, concurrent treatment with amphotericin B of amphotericin lipid complex is suggested. So that's all about histoplasmosis. You, uh, we will see the other form of my causes in the coming videos and if the video is informative please like it and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel please subscribe subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a video see you soon with another video thank you